Welcome back, friends. Today I'm going to show you how I created this very easy morph slide transition, which you can use for wedding photographs or a memorial service or what have you. Now, if you find any part of this video helpful whatsoever, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe so that you're first to be notified when new content comes out. And if you have any special requests, please drop them in the comments. Thank you. So let's get started. So I am starting off with a video workspace. And I'm not sure why that's coming up because I don't want a template. But I have my slide preview on. It's called Scroll View. Canva calls a scroll view. Um, so you can turn it on or um, turn it off, what have you. I have it on right now. That way I can see the slides as I'm placing them on my workspace. So I'm going to go into elements and I am using the new editor, by the way, and I'm going to place some photos on my workspace. So I'll place this one on my workspace. I'll create another page by pressing that plus sign and I'll put some more photos on my so I'll place this one, add another page, I'll add this one, and I'll add this one. And now I'm going to set them as my background. So I'll set these images as my background by right clicking and saying set image as background. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of text to my first page. So I'll go to text, I'll add a text box, and I'm going to say easy morph. Now I know you can't see that, so I'm going to make that a little bit larger, like this. And I'm going to add one more text box that says slide transitions. And I'll grab that text box and I'll bring it down here. And I'll also make that a little bit larger like that. And I'm just going to change the font. So for this one, we're going to use Koshman font right here. And I'm just going to make that a little bit larger. Sorry if I ramble on, guys. And we're going to use Anton for this one here. So let's just go back into fonts. All right, and now I'm just going to modify the colors here. And we're going to change the font color to something brighter. And I'm going to bring this all the way up to the top. And we'll change the font color for slide transitions to uh, this color and then bring it right up to the top like that. And we're going to add a text effect. We'll add some shadows and we'll bring that right up and change that color to black. And I'm going to decrease the offset just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing for this word as well. I'll turn on, I'll select shadow. I'm going to decrease the offset and change the shadow to black. And I'm going to increase the, um, or decrease the transparency. So I'm making it more opaque. And I'm just going to uh, apply a little bit of a blur, which is a nice effect there. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this word a little bit larger because I want people to be able to see it. And I'm going to apply a shape. I'm going to put a shape on this slide so that slide transitions is a little bit easier to read on the eye. So I'm going to go over to two elements and if we scroll down, we'll find shapes here. 
And I'm just going to grab that shape and put it right here and just make a line going all the way across. All right, now what we want to make sure is that we're bringing the main word to the front. So I'm clicking the main word, Easy Morph, and I'm going to position layers and I'm going to bring that element all the way to the top. Okay, so now it's in front and we've got that very nice um, subtle shadow on the side. Now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to close that so we can see the screen a little bit more. I am just going to change the color of that shape and I'm going to change it to this shade right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these together. So I'll just group that. And now that I have my slide ready, I'm going to make a duplicate of this slide. And I'm going to take my grouped element here and I'm going to make it smaller and bring it down a little bit like that. Now it's time to apply some transitions in between the slides. So we're going to start off by clicking in between the slides and we're going to see a little bit of a notch there. So I'm going to click that and for the first slide I'm going to select match and move and what match and move is going to do is it's going to morph that grouped element of text and slowly transition it to the corner of the second slide. And I want to increase the duration because I want it to go slow. So let's take a look and see what that looks like so far. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And then for the next few slides, what we're going to do is we're going to click in there again, and we're going to use the dissolve effect. And again, we're going to increase the timing all the way up. Now, I'm not going to say apply between all pages because I don't want it to affect the first pages. I only want it to affect the last three pages. And this one as well. So let's go in and increase the timing. Let's increase the timing to four seconds for all slides. That way we get a little bit more time in between the slides. And I'm going to say apply to all pages. All right, so let's take a look and see what that looks like now. I'm going to bring my play button all the way to the beginning of the slides and I'm going to press the play button. And you see how we have that morphing happening in between the slides. That's perfect for having a slide presentation and featuring your photos. So what did you think of this easy slide transition? Let me know. Drop me a comment down below. And if you have any tutorial requests, drop them in the comments as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something. If you did, uh, please do press that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel memberships. There are different levels and each level comes with a different perk. All right, for now, I will say bye-bye until next time.